my father wasn't a Christian. Um, it was just my mother, so it was tended to be me and my sisters and my mum that went to church. And I went until I was a teenager. I went to St Barnabas Church in Queen Square and Adafield Free Church. And yeah, I, I went to Girls' Brigade and we went to Spring Harvest. But I had, didn't really have Christian friends. Um, I went to senior school and didn't have Christian friends there. And so I, I drifted away really and I didn't want to go. And I was a bit of a rebel as well, so I <laughs> went the other way <laughs> for a while. I met someone when my daughter started going to school and um, straight away we had a connection um, and we started talking and we realised that as we grew, when we were growing up we obviously we, we were linked in, she was the same age as my sister and had been to church and we went away for the weekend with them, um, which was a bit scary because we didn't really know them that well but we thought no we're going to go. We all stayed in these really manky caravans. <laughs> It was boiling hot and um, and yeah and that's when we sort of got to know them as you know not just people you chat to in the playground but on holiday you spend literally every minute of the day with them and you could just see you could see so that they had something that they had something in their life and both of us it was life-changing for me and my husband both of us came away and said wow that they're a different family and you can see that there's something different about them and, and for me, that was when I realised, you know, they, they came to church, they had something special, they had a relationship with God. I did an Alpha course and I learned a lot and I also learned that I didn't... I always had this fear of not being able to understand enough and not being good enough and to be, a, you know, a proper Christian um, and not being clever enough to understand everything. And when I did the Alpha course, I realised I don't... I need to understand everything and that will come in time and I just need to believe and have my faith and it was a real eye-opener for me. Um, it made me realise that God loves me and wants me even if I'm not the most intelligent or, you know, <clears throat> that, uh, that I haven't read everything and don't know everything, it doesn't matter. The one thing that I w was worried about was that I, I drifted off when I was a teenager because I didn't have Christian friends and I didn't have that that link with the church and I wanted that for my children. I saw what my friend had in her family. There was some, definitely something different about them when, when, when I first met them and both me and my husband said, they've got something special, haven't they? And, and he's not, he wasn't a Christian and he had no faith at all, you know, no belief and no willingness to, to want to, to believe. Um, but he saw in them that they had something different in their family, you know, between them as a couple and with God. It had an impact on their family life and it was good. And we both agreed that we wanted that and we wanted to be more like that. <laughs> I feel safe, I feel loved, I feel accepted. A lot of things that perhaps I didn't feel before and you know, God's there, always there, whatever. And um, we've been through tough times, but, and things that I've not understood, but it goes back to the beginning. I, I don't need to understand. I, I've got a trust in him and he knows the bigger picture. <laughs>